Okay, let's make a record of everything we were told. We were told that the spring constant was 8.00 newtons per meter. We were told that the amplitude was 10.0 centimeters. And we were told that the mass is equal to 0.500 kilograms. Now part A, we were asked what's the maximum velocity equal to. Now we've seen that x is equal to a cos omega t plus 5 and that v is equal to minus a omega sine omega t plus 5. Now this is going to have its maximum value when sine omega t plus phi is equal to minus 1. So our maximum value for v is going to be a omega. So we need to know what omega is. Now we said omega squared is equal to k on m. So that's 8.00 over 0 0.5, which is 16. So omega squared 16, so omega is equal to 4.00. Okay, so our maximum acceleration is the amplitude, 10 centimetres, 0 0.1 metres times the 4.00. So that's equal to 0 0.400 metres per second. Okay, part B, we were asked what's the maximum acceleration. Well, we've seen that acceleration is equal to minus omega squared x. So this will be maximum when x is maximum, and the maximum displacement is the amplitude. So a max is equal to minus omega squared a, which is minus 4 squared, which is 16, times the amplitude, which is 0 0.100 meters. So this is equal to minus 1.60 meters per second per second. So that's towards equilibrium position. Now part C. We were told it's now x is equal to 6.00 centimetres from equilibrium. And we were asked what's its speed. Now one way to do this is to work out at what time it's at 6 centimetres and then use our velocity equation with the time to work out what the velocity is at that time. So let's work out the time. So we've got 6.00 is equal to 10.00, so this is just substituting in for x. This is a cos, now we'll assume phi equals 0. So we've got cos omega t, so that's 4t. And so solving it for t, we've got 4t is equal to the inverse cos of 6 over 10. Now, it's important to make sure that your calculator is in radians. And so solving that on the calculator, we get 4t is equal to 0 0.92. And so t is equal to 0 0.23 seconds. And then we can just substitute this into the velocity equation. So the velocity is equal to minus a omega, so minus 0 0.100 times omega, which is 4, sine of omega, which is 4 times 0 0.23 the time. Solving that, we end up with minus 0 0.32 meters per second. Okay, part D. We were then asked to calculate the acceleration. So the acceleration is equal to minus omega squared x. We already have x at 6 centimetres. So this is equal to minus 16 times 0 0.06. And solving that on the calculator, minus 0 0.96 metres per second per second. And finally, part E, it asks us, what's the time does it take to travel between 0 and 8 centimetres? So let's just do a quick sketch of what it looks like. Here's our time, here's our position. We've got the equation x is equal to a cos omega t and we've set phi to zero. So initially it starts at amplitude a when t is equal to zero and then it travels like this. And this is 10 centimeters. So we need to find out how long it takes to get from eight to zero. 
So we're looking for this time interval here, which is the same as going from 0 to 8, which is this time interval here. Okay, so let's work out this time here, the time at which it's at 8 centimetres. So just substituting in here, we've got 8 is equal to 10 cos. Now omega t, omega is 4 t. So we just solve this like we did down here, making sure the calculator's in radians. So we've got 4 t is the inverse cos of 8 over 10. So that gives us t is equal to 0 0.1608. Okay, so 0 0.1608 seconds. And now we need to find this second time here when it's at 0. So we've got 0 is equal to 10 cos... 40. Now, cos is zero, equal to 0 when this angle in here is equal to pi on 2. So we've got 4t is equal to pi on 2. So t is equal to pi on 8, which is approximately equal to 0 0.3927. So this is t is equal to 0 0.3927. So the time interval here is equal to 0 0.3927 minus 0 0.1608. Solving that, we get 0 0.232 seconds to three significant figures.